All right, everybody, I'm going to give this another try. If this doesn't work, I don't know. Um, and I know you're thinking, what do you mean? And you're going to give this another try. All day long yesterday, I was uh, very tired yesterday. My allergies have been acting up. I guess being camping and outside and the, um, the brush had these little white, almost like the dandelions or whatever that you blow on and the white things go flying, but it was coming off of the the brush around us and floating all over the place and everything. And I think it's got my allergies real bad and, and I was tired and I just want to remake the box for the swap. And every time I tried to do it, it wasn't working out. And I figured out, and I was going through and adjusting my measurements. And okay, why isn't this working? And making a box is not this hard. What is going on? And then I realized that this scoreboard grooves had stuff in it and was sending me to the next line or whatever and I was making that the line and that's where I was getting off and in the meantime I kept making adjustments to my um, measurements and so now my measurements kept getting off every time by the time I realized what was going on I was like okay I cleaned this out and then I was like, I didn't post them. And I know I say that I don't edit anything out. And if something doesn't work, I show that it doesn't work. The problem is, this is a box for the swap. And I didn't want to put out a bunch of videos that were all wrong. And somebody do it wrong and mess up and whatever. So I, I didn't post any of them. So... And the day before that, my allergies and stuff were so bad, and my voice was so bad and all that, and, and I just didn't put one out that day. I just kind of took the day off. So it's been two days, and I don't know that I've ever gone two days without posting, especially during the week. So, today, that still looks like it's good. Got the gunk in it. I'm going to try to get this box right this time. And I'm going to use my measurements. And you would not believe the stack of messed up boxes. And I went through and fixed them and used those measurements. And then something went right. And oh my gosh. So I've got stacks of messed up boxes over here on the side. And I can't even tell you. So I'm going to line my paper up. At the 12 inch mark. That way if it's off. It's. Uh, that might be another thing. Maybe. That I'm messing up. Maybe I need to line it up on the one. On the. This cut line here. Will make it. Instead. I didn't think about that. But that could be messing me up also. Okay. So, we're going to go with these numbers first, and this is for the smaller side. So, we're going to score at the 1, and then 2 and a quarter is here. Oh, it's not straight. Two and a quarter. Ah, oh, there's the quarter mark. See, it already pushed me into the next column. It's trying to do that. And seven and two quarters, which is seven and a half. But I stuck with the quarters because they're all quarters. So seven and a half. 
there's my five inch mark and my paper just moved which means that line's not straight now there we go and then eight and three quarters eight and three quarters and then nine and three quarters this is also my cut line so I'm going to score it over and cut it off I should cut it there but what if I don't line it up right then I messed up again This is my five inch side, which is this shorter side. I'm not worried about this edge because this edge is getting tucked inside. So if it's not perfect pretty, that's okay. Okay, for the next one, and I'm gonna line it up at this. This is what made me realize maybe it's a little bit shorter this way. Okay, so now I'm going to do the one inch again. The one inch is just to flip over. So one inch, then two and a quarter like the last one. Then nine and a half. Nine and two quarters, nine and a half. And then ten and three quarters. And eleven and three quarters. Which only leaves a very tiny piece left over that can be cut off right and it does not look straight I don't know how that happens on the scoreboard but it's my scoreboard paper trimmer one of the reasons I'm choosing not to use it for some reason with this black paper, it just seems to have an issue. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut on this line to where the scoreboard scoring lines meet. Then I'm gonna come in this way and I'm gonna cut this one off. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's do this the easy way. Let's go ahead and cut these all four off. That way you don't have to worry about those anymore. Those are out of your way and you won't get confused with the rest of it. This is just the flap over pieces, so just cut those off because that part's not going to flap over. So then we'll cut these to where the score lines meet. And then I'm going to take a little bit off. Okay. Let's get cut to where the score lines meet. Just take a little bit off cut to where the score lines meet and then take a little bit off cut to where the score lines all meet 
and take a little bit off. Now, please, 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 God, let me finally have this right. Okay. Now we're going to fold all the score lines. Fold them all. Don't, this paper that I'm using for this right now is a very thin cardstock and it is not going to be my box. I will use a sturdier cardstock. But I got tired of cutting all my, messing up all my good cardstock. I mean, I'm not throwing it away because obviously I can still use it for other stuff. But I was chewing up them 12 by 12 pieces like they were nothing. Okay. I'm just going to fold it in and over just to make sure with all the trouble I've had that my sides all line up because that's what was happening. I would get one side longer than the others. It would be a little, just like an eighth of an inch, whatever, taller. Just one notch wrong. So, for whatever reason, that's what was happening. So, now, it's perfect. Perfect. I knew it did not have to be that much work to make. I'm like, what is wrong with me? This is the easiest thing to make a box. I do it all the time and for some reason I just can't do it right that's why I got these numbers and I got it together and I was like okay I'm done today I'm not even going to try it because if I mess it up I'll start messing with the numbers again, and I think I finally got the numbers right. And that's why, you know, sometimes you just have to walk away from things. And that's, you know, a lot of times I'll need to make a card or want to make a card, and it's like writer's block, you know, you just can't think. And you'll do something, and then you'll look at it, and you'll be like, no, this is horrible. This isn't right. And it's, you know, it's just like the writer's block thing. You just, and like I said, I was super tired, and with my allergies and everything going on, I was like, my brain is just not functioning. And... So, but look at today I'm doing good so far. We got the box bottom done. So, please before I check the top because I only did the top a couple of times and I'm not sure that I got the top right. So, please don't make it. Or write down any of my directions or anything until you see at the end that it worked out. Because I wasn't getting that far. I wasn't getting past the box. And like I said, I'd go in and fix it. And then, of course, you know, once you do that, you already got a score line in the wrong place. And even though... The other ones were folded under. It's still, it's not something that you want to send somebody. So, so I will redo them, but this is the video for the swap. And, um, 
if you want to do the swap, I think you have to notify. Well, I'm going to leave it open because um, participation is oh so low. So if you want to join in, as long as you can get it done in time, then I don't have a problem with you joining in any time. Okay, so here's our box bottom. Measuring five and a quarter by these be seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. So good. Now for the top, the lid. Okay, the lid. And actually, that black looks really nice. But you can see my sides are pretty wobbly and all of that. So, okay, so like the last one I did when I talked about the swap, I made a smaller lid, and that's acceptable. But I wanted to do a bigger lid. So this one is going to have a taller lid. You know, not taller, but it's going to go down more onto the box. So here are my lid numbers, and hopefully they're right. Okay. So I have a half inch for the fold over. So because it's the lid, it's going to be smaller. half an inch for the fold over. Then one and a quarter. That's my side of the lid. That's not that big. Okay. Maybe I didn't go bigger. Then six and three quarters. Okay, then seven and a half. And then eight. For me fold over. So I can cut it here now. And that really does not look straight. That the other lines do, but that one, it looks like it goes over to the other eight inch row. Somehow. I could be wrong, but I'm just gonna cut a little bit over that line for whatever reason. Okay. Now the other portion of the lid. So I made these. Well, we'll see. Hopefully I made them right. They should be a little bit bigger then the box just by an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch depending on what you want to do okay so I did that now I need my half inch fold over half inch fold over then one and a quarter Then I'm going to six and three quarters. I'm doing the same one again. Don't do that one. I'm doing this other side, which is eight and three quarters. Then nine and a half. 
and 10. So it's half inch, one and a quarter, slid, one and a quarter, eight and three quarters, nine and a half, and ten. And I'm going to cut this at the 10 inch point. Okay, and the same with the lid. I mean, the same with the box. I'm going to cut these off. All four of these. Outside rectangles. So you're cutting through two through one score line. You're cutting to that second score line. But just through there. Through there. Maybe I didn't make the box lid deeper. I sure thought I had. Okay, and then we're gonna cut here and here. And here and here. We're just making our little flaps. We're cutting here and here and here and here now we're gonna score it fingers crossed that that all is well this time because I don't think I can do that again <laughs> I can't do yesterday again Y'all, I just can't. And that was my mistake. I was going to make it 5x5 five five again. But make it 5x5. Five five. That I did not make the mistake of doing yesterday. It would have been a new one. Which is hard to believe. After so many troubles that there could have actually been a new issue. <laughs> but. Okay, so these will go in here. I'm gonna check all my sides. I'm gonna fold them over. Make sure they line up. Make sure they're lining up. What is that? That's from the tab. But they are lining up. Fold it both over. Make sure they're lining up. And fold it over. Make sure they're lining up. And they are. Yay. But I do have a little bit of something. Where the notch is, it's kind of sticking up a little bit. So if we want to get rid of that. I think if we just kind of notch into the little fold over piece, then we should be able to do that. This one does seem a little longer but they all lined up so I like to keep my bottoms of my tabs straight just because I feel like it helps me
I was not in the whole box. Let's see what I did. I got off track topic, talking, not concentrating. Maybe I only did it to this one. Maybe it won't matter. Right there is where I cut it. So if you have to notch it out, just not the, the fold over section. Anyways, the point is these measurements are correct. They will work. Let me glue this together. And my fold over piece. That's where I'm putting my glue. On the tabs and the fold over. And it gives extra sturdy to the box and it has a little bit neater look to the box then if you just cut it but you you can do that if you want because that's how you make your boxes and that's what you need to do then then do it that way because I'm not saying you need to make the boxes the same as mine you can make them however you make them because I know people have different methods and some of them are so nice and turn out so pretty and I would never tell anybody that it has to be my way because everybody's creative process works different and And I like seeing the different ways people do it, but this is just a simple way to do a box for um, people that don't know how to do it. I don't want to say make a box. These are the dimensions, and then people don't know how to make a box, right? If, you, if you're new and you never made a box before... Uh, now why this doesn't want it glue together like the other one, like the bottom, I don't know. But it's being difficult. Okay, and I think I'm going to um, come later today and do some backgrounds. I did one background inking and stamping oh, they're pretty too I love them and um I thought I would do some watercolor background and then we would be good and I needed to make sure that two of these will fit in that envelope and this lid is looking awful big and I'm thinking I got my numbers messed up let's see no with good paper that's gonna be nice uh oh it might be a little big It's a little big on the long side. Not the sidewise, the size. Just paper that, but on the long ways. So, I went eight and three quarters to nine and a half. Three quarters of an inch. No, here's where I did it. I went seven and a half inches. I don't need that much because here I did seven and a quarter. 
So... Um, I did seven and a half inches. Oh, if we seven and a half, if I did seven and three eighths, then it would probably be better. That's a big difference. Okay, the box bottom is correct. Do not use the lid. I'm going to have to come back with the lid. And see what I did wrong here. Alright, let me pause you. Maybe I can figure it out and come back and do it again. Hold on. Okay, I worked out new numbers for the lid. So we're going to try those. What did I do with my scoring tool? I like that scoring tool. Because when the other one kept messing up. That one was coming through for me. But let me see if I got it okay now. Okay, so I have. The half an inch for the fold over and then one and a quarter now I'm going to six and five eighths Which is one right here. Here. And I did change both the width and the length because see how this doesn't want to let me stay in? It just does not. There we go. No. It's still. This is how I end up. See, it put me in the wrong. Well, I don't know. There we go. Then seven and a half. But now I got to change this. Because I only want a three quarter inch side. So. One. Two. Three. Seven and. Three eighths. So we're going to change this to seven and three eighths. And then I only want a half inch fold over. So seven and seven eighths. So, this becomes seven and seven eighths. So, I changed that. That goes five eighths. So, this is going to be also switched to three eighths. And this will become nine and 
0.78. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it. That's my 5 inch one. And I'm going to do this one. Half inch fold over. One and a quarter for the side. Then I'm going to eight and five eighths. Wow. Then nine and three eighths. And then nine and seven eighths. Okay. Now we can cut off the extra garbage pieces. So right here, that's all excess. And then right here. Something's not right. Well, I know this is extra, but... Something's not right. The bottom line, right, this is not. So I did on this side. This is the one that's wrong. The end. Eight. And five eighths. That should be. I want it to be. Okay, one and a quarter. That's my. This my fold over. This my side. And then one and a quarter. And then I need it to go five and three eighths. So one, two, three. So just over the half mark. So now I need to go five. One, two, I'm already messing up. One and a quarter. And I want to go three eighths. So just over the half mark. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm doing the wrong one. <laughs> uh, I need to do this one. So one half and then one and a quarter. Then I want to go seven and three eighths. So just over the half and then seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay. 
I went eight and five eighths, and that's right. Eight and five eighths, but why is this line not eight and five eighths? Eight and five eighths is this line. And I'm going to give it a little tick mark over here so that I know later on this is the correct line. And then I think that has the rest of them right. Nine and three eighths. And three eighths. And then the rest of them are right. So this one, somehow, I put that in the wrong spot. See? This is the kind of stuff I kept doing. Um... Yesterday, over and over and over again. I just... Just this little stuff, just, and a lot of it, like I said yesterday, my scoreboard was just kicking me to the wrong lane. What I do? I did that one wrong. Shoot. Well. This is why sometimes it's just easier to get rid of that outside rectangle before you even start the rest of it. What I do? Got rid of the wrong rectangle. This should not be this. Usually I just come in, zip, zip, zip. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not usually trying to explain it. My process is never done on paper. It's always in my head on the scoreboard. Okay, I want this much, this much, this much. And that's how I do it. And so this was just a little bit what I'm not used to, and like I said with everything yesterday, I just had to say, okay, give. Surrender. Fold over my fold over. So I did, I surrendered yesterday. I will not surrender today. This video is getting posted. These boxes are going to, you know what I did do? Trim away. I didn't trim away. And this looks a little messed up too, so. Wait, you want to trim that little piece, so you might end up having a little bit of trouble with it, which it doesn't matter, but... You know, you can always deal with it. But when the glue and everything's on, that's the last thing you want to do. Just try to deal with that. So, trim that away. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on my tabs. I'm always like, I'm not going to show a video if if something doesn't turn out right. I like because I want you to see it and see the mistakes I make, so you don't make them. And but 
part of the problem with yesterday was I wasn't even knowing where I was messing up. And like I said, my scoreboard, oh, it was full of stuff. As bad as it looks now, and know that that's been cleaned up after the fiasco yesterday. So it definitely, definitely had some issues this is. Mean trimmed off. That didn't line up very well. This paper is it's not paper, it's cardstock. But it's thin enough that it's um kind of messing up. When you use good sturdy paper, can you describe this? When you use good sturdy paper, it holds better and it doesn't get all floppy. Okay. So, but because I was doing these and having so much trouble, I switched to this other paper until I was sure that I had my numbers right. For you, so that's why it just this bows more, and you know, I don't know, it's it's just I did really like the way that pearlescent worked yesterday, it was amazing stuff for boxes and. I'm sure I've used it before, but I just didn't realize how good it worked for that. So let's hope this holds now so I can come do this other side for all that good melt. I mean dry melt. Um, what's everybody got to say about what Crafter's Companion is offering this week? Anybody else watch their shows during the week? They come out with the Snow Queen. I think that's what they called her, yeah. Snow Queen collection. Um, sparkle sprays. They got a Christmas color collection of the glitter paste. They got some glitter glues. They got a whole bunch of colors. I guess, you know, we were camping Sunday, but I guess they come out with some puffy snow that sold out like ridiculous. So I guess they will be bringing that back. They said the process, it's so light that they can have that flown out. So they will have more of that available soon. It won't be as long for that, but... um the Snow Queen is pretty and all, but I didn't order it. Um, I'm trying not to order so much stuff and use what I've got because I got so much stuff. And um, um, I'm not going to say that the week before when everything was on sale, I didn't order a bunch because I did. But uh, that was because things were crazy on sale and... So I did do that, but the new stuff now today, they're doing the creative card die cut frames with sentiments. And those are pretty and I'm like so tempted because I'm doing that craft fair and how easy would it be to just run the dice through and stick them on and you know, there's a card. There we go. Perfect. Almost. It could be a little bit tighter, but again, the, this paper, I believe, has a lot to do with that. Okay, so let me grab this envelope. And this is a used envelope, so I'm not going to show...
the one side. I'm just going to show this side. I don't want nobody to see nobody's stuff. But let's um, make sure we can get two of them. Okay, so lengthwise, you can even go higher if you want. Because you got room there. Oh, it's going to fit too easy. Easy, easy, easy. Where's that orange one? Orange one. An orange one. Yes. Okay, so it's going to fit width-wise. That's about as much as you're going to get in there without scrunching it, I think. But lengthwise, you could maybe go a little bit, like a half inch or a quarter inch more. Just to be able to fit. I wouldn't go too much more. Because if you pull from there, it's going to pull from the length also. But see, this has been cut. But yes, they will fit. It's going to be a little snug this way, but they will fit. So, perfect. <laughs> so here are our new numbers. And it's scribbled out and what a mess. And so I'm going to come back. I think what I'll do, maybe I'll do another video with swap information and I'll give these numbers again. And I'll write it neater so everybody can look and get it better. And then um, I want to do more backgrounds and like I said, do some watercoloring and you know, playing around a little bit and seeing what we can do for um, backgrounds. Of course, if you want the swap, it is a fall theme, so doesn't matter to me what fall theme. I like everybody use their own creativity um, as a child, I had a very vivid imagination and Sometimes that was appreciated and sometimes not so much. And, um, so I appreciate people's imaginations and their thought process and their creativity process. And I want everybody to use their own creativity process. So, I mean, I wish I could say we're going to do a swap of this, this, do this. And just do what you want, but unfortunately you can't do that because everybody's got to kind of get the same stuff equal to what they sent, right? That's the only thing. So I will come back with these um, written neater and, and some swap information. And then um, I might do the background video separate, so... All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.